Hey everybody, good morning, it's your girl Nige, and I'm back with another video. So, I'm feeling my little picked out fro today. I actually did a twist out last night using a sample of Auntie Jackie's flaxseed gel and something else, I don't remember. But my hair's growing. Um, by the way, these earrings are by Dove Love Hand Designs. Y'all remember I got these from the Natural Hand Beauty Expo. My hair is soft, but don't touch. Okay? <laughs> so today's video is about the movie Tem Temptation. Um, the movie came out in 2013, and I believe Tyler Perry directed it. And it starred um, Journey Smollett-Bell, as well as Lance Gross and Robbie Jones. And basically, it was the tale of... A small town Christian couple, young and in love, and then they get married, and then they experience some things, and ultimately leads to the end of the marriage. And so while I was watching it, of course on the fire stick, shout out to uh, Amazon, yes, <laughs> I, um, I wrote down a couple of things, and I kept a few things in the back of my head, like, hmm, because y'all know I'm always looking for some inspiration some motivation to help you all out so i wrote down a couple of notes and they're not in any particular order so i'm just gonna go with it all right number one sin leads to death and i was thinking about the scripture well i looked in the scripture because i was like i know it's a verse that says that and it's in james 1 and 15 and it reads the desire when it has conceived gives birth to sin and sin when it is fully grown brings forth death now although no one in the movie physically died it was the end of a marriage and is it, it was you could tell the well first of all the characters really had um on-screen uh chemistry like it was very believable and um they played their characters really well but in real life um deaths of marriages do happen when we um or when people um play with sin or it could be the death of a relationship when we play with sin. If someone is cheating, whether that's sexually, whether that's emotionally, whatever kind of deceit you're holding back or whatever kind of uh, flirting behavior you're playing with sin, eventually something is going to die. Um, number two, um, L. Boogie said it best. Miscommunication leads to complication. The wife um, played by, um, well, Judith, she was unhappy in her marriage and she tried to explain it to her husband, but he was so focused on um, his career that he ignored the signs. Even the mother, um, her mother tried to get her to, I mean, get him to get it, but he was just somewhere in the clouds. He couldn't see that his wife was slowly drifting away. Like, and then, and then as another point that I could take away is that is again, it's going to take more than just love. Like you guys have to be rooted and grounded in Christ in order for this marriage to work. Um, you guys have to talk and again, you guys have to talk about those things that are uncomfortable. I think if, if she had, I mean, if he had really listened to her, he would have been able to see instead of, you know, I mean, not for nothing. He forgot her birthday two years in a row. I mean, so it's like she was growing apart, but he's thinking everything's okay. Like, you know, it's not big of a deal, but this guy came along and just swept her off her feet and number three that ties into number three uh, we can know all the signs and still want it like when she did that um uh, like combat compatibility test on him she saw that he had a mean streak but because he entertained her emotional needs well seemingly um she looked past that even when she went on her morning run she started wearing you know put her hair up Put on a little bit of makeup and her husband asked her oh you know you're going out for a run and it's like he he couldn't get it you know he really just did not get it and she hadn't done anything at the time of the run but it was brewing um number four don't play with the devil like he is not our friend he is not our uh main ace boom coon ain't none of that like I don't like my pastor says all the time. It's a song she sings. Um, I hate the devil and he hates me. This one thing we do agree. Like I can't stand him. He can't stand me. So basically the devil got a contract on each on out on each and every one of our lives. So we can't afford to play with him. My pastor also says, um, you know, if you dance to the piper, you got to, how she say it? 
if you dance to his music, you got to pay the piper or something like that. Basically, it goes back to number one, sin leads to death. Now, the devil is not going to make things easy for us. And he's, it may seem like we're having a good time because she was like all euphoric. And it just went from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. And it just spiraled out of control. And lastly, um, oh, and by the way, when I say it spiraled out of control, it's, it's, it started off as like fun for her, but then it became an addiction. And lastly, number five, mamas be knowing. The mother knew from the jump. Mothers be knowing what their kids be going through. I mean, I could be going through something. I may not say nothing. Then my mother pop up with a question like, so... <laughs> Mamas be knowing. I mean, three simple words, but it's the truth. I mean, mothers know their children. They know when they're going through something and they can sense things. And I believe that's a gift that God gives, you know, mom. So that is my five points that I took away from the movie Temptation. If you have seen the movie, please let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed these uh, five points, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button and that subscribe button so you can see more from me, your girl.